You really need to get out of here. Stop it, Maurice. And look at you. Go on. Surprised you can even stand in the same place that you twirled and fell out like you had a Statue of Liberty costume on. How you doing? It. No. Sisters is such good stuff. He acts, sings, he dances. He's hilarious from BET's hit series Sisters. Brian Jordan Jr. is in Atlanta for a very special performance, and we're so happy to have him in studio here at 11 Alive News to talk about his theatrical production, Black Frost. Thanks for being with us. Oh my God, thank you for having I me. I love that you're back in the A after the whiz. Yes, yes, I'm so excited to be here with Black Frost. All right, so talk about Black Frost, because you know this is a great example of something wonderful that came out of a tough time, because you were inspired during the strike Absolutely. to write this one-man show. Absolutely, the strike really brought me back to my roots, theater and live performance, because you know, television and film stopping, it only leaves so much when it comes to performance. And um, I had so much time to come up with a lot of ideas. And I thought about what could be a, an avenue for me to um, showcase all the talents that I have. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna do a one man show. Mm. Um, it was very ambitious and so as I'm tired this morning, um, I'm very happy and excited, but I am tired, sore. Yeah. Tired, yeah. Well, you're working hard. And he's, he's like on two hours of sleep. You know, yes. you are like a true Renaissance man. Some people would call it a jack of all trades, but I think more of a Renaissance For man. Sure. You know, you went to Debbie Allen Dance Academy. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is your roots, but then you've really done it all, including directing. Yeah. Take me through the process of Black Frost, what people can expect to see from you, because the show really reflects that you have all these different facets of your talent. Absolutely. You know, I um, I'm calling it a chronicle of the first quarter of my life. And so it starts from the beginning and I have dance numbers, songs and monologues and comedy pieces that chronicle my life. We go through where I was born, uh, the way that I worshiped as a child, mm. into Broadway, into film and television. And here we are now and it's um, just laugh and love and heal and pain that comes from being human and uh. comes from being on a TV show comes from before, you know, the struggles before. So it's yeah. a, a storytelling journey. I love that, how one step leads you to the next one. Absolutely. And all the way through. Absolutely. That's awesome. So Black Frost is at Woodruff Art Center. Yes. Don't miss it, everybody. Don't miss it. Don't. How can people find out all the information? Absolutely. So any of my Instagrams or Twitters or Facebook, mm -hmm. it's Brian Jordan Jr. And on Eventbrite, you just type in Black Frost or Brian Jordan Jr. and You'll find it. Now you're playing tribute to New Orleans as well. Absolutely. Louisiana in, a, in whole, because I've lived in New Orleans and Baton Rouge, mm -hmm. but it's um, an act called Bayou Brian. And it's really, really cool. I'm so excited about that it's one. It's one of the steps. Absolutely. One of the steps in the journey. There's seven steps. Seven steps. And I think that's act, act three. Yeah. Lucky number seven. You see, you're low, you, you've accomplished so much and you're in your first quarter. <laughs> oh, I would I'm like to be working. in my first quarter still. I'm still, you, well, you look like you are. <laughs> well, you know, thank you. <laughs> that, my friend, is called a filter. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> All right, we have a lot to talk about. Sisters is so great. Season six coming out. Yes. Now, we're not going to see Maurice and Sabrina back in a bank, are we? You have we to are? wait and see. You have okay, to wait and see. You scared me for a minute. You have to wait and see, but... We are happy to see that Maurice and Sabrina are out of trouble. You got your finally, mm -hmm. finally. So that's always great to to uh, play. Yeah, they've been besties since season one, season but you know they've one. they've had a journey. Speaking oh, of journeys, oh wow! And well, shout out to Sabrina because yeah. she really sticks up for Maurice. Maurice is not the nicest all the time. So shout out to her. What do you love most about playing that character? Um, not to get deep, but I think that Maurice has taught me so much about humanity. Mm. about humanity, about looking through the eyes of other people um, uh, who are from different backgrounds and have different ideas and cultures and traditions. And the best way to sympathize or I guess trade places with someone is to play them as a character. And after 129 episodes wow. of playing Maurice, it has really opened my eyes up to truly a different life of, of people, different experiences and struggles and things that I'd never experienced. Mm -hmm. And so it helps me to be an advocate for so many other people that I never would have understood their walk. Everybody's complicated just in many different ways, right? And everybody breathes the same air. Totally. You know? 
That's cool. So you are, like you said, 129 episodes. Yes. Pretty amazing to be part of that Tyler Perry production. I mean, talk about an icon here Oof. in our city. Uh, he is an inspiration in so many ways. Yeah. I can only imagine the kind of things you absorb just watching him work. I hear that he has his hands in everything from costumes to cameras every to concepts. Thing. He knows how to do every single thing. And even now as he's, you know, um, evolved into very large, I mean, there's so many large things coming out, I can't speak about it. On his, on his um, brink that are beyond, you know, our shows, but even there he can come right back in and no lights, camera, costumes, hair, makeup, every single thing. And he is an international treasure, mm -hmm. truly, and someone that I have learned so much from and I'm better surely because I knew him because as because he I climbs he always lifts everyone up absolutely with him. he's just he's he's the goat I mean he <laughs> to watch him work is truly magnificent and also to learn of his success also check out Maxine's baby it's a beautiful mm -hmm. documentary mm -hmm. it's beautiful I mean he's he's truly a legend and I am able to speak so candidly because I've been able to work with him for 100 of those episodes. He directed every last episode. That's incredible. So it's been beautiful, yeah. Is it part of what has in, like continued to grow your Absolutely. like passion for directing? Absolutely. I've, I've been so blessed to have touched the, the hem of the garments of so many legends. You know, at the beginning of my career and my training was Debbie Allen, mm -hmm. who is the ultimate Renaissance person. That's right? true. And from directing and choreography and producing I me mean, she's had her hand in so many people's careers including mine and so much success on television and film and then to get to the point where I'm on the number one show and it's a Tyler Perry show and I've watched mm -hmm. him do all the things it's just amazing and now they work together Jasmine Blues uh, Debbie Allen choreographed it and it's Tyler's film and so it's beautiful that I've been blessed to have those opportunities with such monumental figures in this industry. And you are just beginning. You've got a lot of runway. I'm so excited about the future, yeah. I can't wait to see you keep taking off. Thank you so it's much, It's so nice Cheryl. to meet you. Oh, the pleasure is mine. I'm so happy you're mine. here. Black Frost, Black don't Frost. miss it. Woodruff Art Center. And then stay tuned for everything else because there's so much else on the table, including a lot more sisters ahead. A lot more sisters ahead. Yes, Black Frost, Woodruff Art Center, the 8th and the 9th. All right. Awesome having you. Thanks a lot. Pleasure is mine. Thank you. Thanks.